And this is secrets on the set. And these are secrets from the set? From the set. Wow. From the set, sorry. What did I say? Of the set? These are the secrets from the set of High School Musical, the musical, the series. I think that Nat is the funniest person that ever existed. He just has the dumbest one-liners that make me crack up all the time. Love you, Matt. We kind of all like take turns telling jokes, but I guess I would have to say Frankie. Frankie is so funny to me. I just he just has great comedic timing, like 24-7. It's Frankie, hands down. Frankie Rodriguez is the funniest person I've ever met. <laughs> selfies I'm gonna have to give it to Frankie and Julia Frankie Rodriguez I'm pretty sure takes the most selfies um, or Julia I'll just turn around and they're just like I'm like okay y'all get it pose but like we got a film but like get it I think Frankie takes the most selfies we did a video with Teen Vogue it was a truth or dare question and he chose truth and it was like how many selfies have you taken today and he took like upwards of a hundred selfies that day I thought it was the most hilarious thing that ever happened I know, it's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Kate Reinders, actually, she fully interior designed her, her uh, dressing room. It's, it's such a wonderful environment. We often spend time in her dressing room or her trailer just hanging out because it's such a nice environment. Frankie Rodriguez, by far, he has a life-size cardboard cutout of Zac Efron in his dressing room, and nobody's going to beat that. That's just, just, just end me. It's the best. His dressing room not only has a Zac Efron life-size cutout, um, but he also has a chandelier, and I don't know how he's able to fit a chandelier in his room, but he is. I have to give it to Frankie. <laughs> yeah, Frankie. Who plays their music the loudest? Joshua Bassett brings a speaker every day to set, and every time he like walks in the hair and makeup trailer, first thing in the morning, he like plays a Jackson Five song or like some '70s song. I'm gonna say Josh because every every day on set he would bring in the speaker and always like have music playing to kind of like wake everyone up. So I think I think Josh. Shout out to Josh. <laughs> I gotta take that one. That one's me. I always have a speaker with me all at all times, and I, I blast music almost every second we're on set. Oh my gosh, I can't even think. I, I, it's always embarrassing when you forget a line. I, always, I mean, you never want to do that. We were doing one of our dance numbers and it was like in front of a lot of people. And when I say a lot of people, it was a lot of people, like everybody was there. And I'm doing the dance and all of a sudden I just like fall on the floor and I'm like, hmm, I can't get back up y'all. But yeah, so I fell during a dance number on set and um, it hurt. I'm not even gonna lie, I couldn't get back up. It is so crazy how similar High School Musical the Musical the series is to all of our lives. Sometimes we're like reading the script and we're like, can't wait to find out what happens next so that we find out what happens in our own lives next just because the stories are just like, like uncanny and how similar everything is. Believe it or not, I'm pretty sure everyone is exactly their character. Um, Frankie Rodriguez is very much Carlos and uh, I'm definitely Ricky. I'm going to say Julia only because she like is so such a good singer and her character is like a songwriter and everything. And Julia literally slays everything she sings. I don't even, and Olivia too, and Sophia too, and Matt, and Josh. And, so everybody slays and Frankie. Um, but like, I would say Julia, she's just like, she really connects with her character. And like, every time I see her on, on the screen, I'm like dying laughing. So yeah. I'm really similar to my character. I think Josh is definitely re really similar to his character. We're all pretty alike except for Sophia. She plays kind of the villain of the show, and she's literally the sweetest person that you will ever meet in your entire life. They nailed it with all of us. We were all born for these roles. <laughs> Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. Is that too we get? That gets me so hyped. Like when I first saw that, I was like, "Why am I so hyped? Like, why do I want to play basketball all of a sudden?" I think the cast sings "Stick to the Status Quo" the most. It's just such an iconic song, and we'll, like I'll do the harmonies and stuff on it too, because it's like a group song, so we'll all sing it together. Would probably be "You Are the Music in Me," only because I sing that all the time, and then people get it stuck in their heads, and then they sing it all the time.
Wondering is my favorite song from High School Musical, the musical, the series. It always gets stuck in my head. Wondering, or I think kind of you know, um, or just for a moment, uh, they all kind of, they're all, or all I want. Honestly, all the songs get stuck in my head all the time. Someone just wants to start like belting out of nowhere. They'll sing Wondering, and then I'm like, y'all better sing it. But then if we want to dance, we're just like, boom. To be brave. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed those secrets from the set. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hope you enjoyed those secrets. Watch High School Musical, the musical, the series, streaming now. Try and make him smile. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> What's up? It's Why Don't We? And we're going to see how well we know each other. Selena Gomez, will you get frozen yogurt with me? <laughs> That's amazing. I met them backstage at an award show.